It's recording. The button is red. The button is red. Yep. Yep. Just like that. Just like that. Um, I did not even intro start this. Welcome. No. God damn it. Hi, my name is... Just, no. <laughs> it's not. Hi. I'm Nina. And I'm going to review some shoes. <laughs> shoes. Shoes. Some of you, five at least read my blog about I tried five CrossFit shoes so you don't have to. I like it. If you stopped watching already, that's your fault because this is gold. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. You know what I should have done is watched YouTube reviews so I could have like duplicated what people do that aren't idiots and do it like that. But I didn't do that. Shoe number one, Innovate F Light 235 V2 Cross Trainer. Trainer. Name's too long. No, you didn't. Innovate F Light 235 V2 Cross. Damn it. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> Hold on. Innovate A. Fuck. Innovate F Light 235 V2 Cross Trainer. There, you got it. <laughs> Well, these shoes lot. These shoes are incredibly minimal. Um, they're sturdy, which is nice. They've got good laces for the most part. You do have to double knot them for sure, but they're not terrible. Um, they're easy to tie. Uh, for box jumps, I did not love these shoes. They're too minimal. It's too much impact on your foot. Um, Every time I hit the box, it was 100% felt throughout my entire foot. It's like thrusters or like wall balls or something. I think they're okay. Not bad. Um, double unders, these are probably my favorite. Because the super minimal aspect of them makes them really good for jumping. Running in them sucks. <laughs> but some people love running in them. Some people are also idiots. Ah... <laughs> uh. Okay, so synopsis of those shoes is what? They're okay. Awesome. I don't love them. They're too minimal for me. But people that love minimal shoes like them. I feel like it would probably be really good if you want to do like a more barefoot type workout. Or if you're really looking for like a heavy calf impact when you're running. Um, I ran a mile in them and regretted it immensely. Next, we're going to talk about nobles. These aren't even mine. These you, are. You should smell those. I don't want to smell them because they're not mine. <laughs> because I couldn't find mine today. But I'd already done my hair. And I wasn't going to not do this freaking video. Because I blew it dry. I couldn't find a hairbrush, so I didn't do a very good job blowing it dry. But I found some weird fancy French shit that I had a packet of and I put that in it and figured that would like be a hairbrush. It would. This is an important story for a shoe video. So nobles are awesome because they look great. <laughs> they do look great. They look great and they hold up forever. Like they've got all these little dots all over them. Just the horns. So these shoes I have mixed feelings about nobles. I like to wear them just wearing the first, like, two years I did CrossFit, I exclusively wore these shoes. Not these ones, because, again, these are Evo. <laughs> but mine were, like, way cooler and much nicer looking. It's not very comfortable. They are wonderful for movements like thrusters. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to do Fran, I want to wear Nobles. Because they're super flat and sturdy. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like replacement lifters, almost. Um, without the actual lift. They're pretty good for rope climbs. Um, I never had a problem with mine breaking on the rope or anything like that. They're very sturdy. They're a super well-made shoe. And some people swear by them. I think I just got... I wore them for too long. And then I started wearing softer, cushier shoes. And I became a child of comfort. <laughs> I wanted my foot to be comforted. But you look so cool in those. Like a true crossfitter. And I just wear these now when I'm walking around in my jeans. 
to do your footage. Don't leave it on the boat. Okay, yeah. Your Birkenstock yeah. sandals. Yeah. Super industrial. Awesome. Now I can step on bugs. All right. Ugh. Okay. Fitness shoes numbers. <laughs> All right. Reebok Nano Nines. Oh wait, I gotta talk about them. Uh, these shoes are super comfortable. They are my go-to for when I want cushy feet feet. Doing my workouts. So cute too. And they're very cute. And they also like. They have this super sturdy oh, texture that. that Eva loves when I make this sound. Um, they have a really good texture on them, so I feel like they're going to last forever. Uh, they got this soft, like, mush back here on your heel that's nice. Um, great for rope climbs. They have, like, rope pro, whatever that means. I don't know, but they grip the rope really nice, and I know that it's never going to eat through my shoe. Because I've definitely had shoes get eaten on the rope before, to where you can literally see the bottom of my foot. And they're not going to do that. Um, they're a proud supporter of the Navy SEAL Foundation, apparently. I just discovered that when I looked inside. So that's cool. I'd say as far as breaking them down by movement, I remember these to be on the box jumps, uh, very bouncy. They were nice, they were supportive, my foot felt good. Um, on the thruster, I liked them as well. I thought maybe I rocked just a little bit more than the Nike Metcons, but um, nothing to make like a big deal about. Um, they're all around a great shoe. They've got really good arch support, and um, I think if anything, I feel like I might go a little bit slower in them than the Nike Metcons because they are a bit bouncier of a shoe than these. These have so much cush, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> but like if I know I want to go really fast, I'll pick the Nike Metcons over the Reeboks. But if I know I still want to do, I'll wear these anytime. They're the best. They're so comfy. They're great shoes and they have a very wide toe box, which a lot of people really care about. I don't really know what that means, but it's important to know. And they have good laces that tie and stay tied. Um, good arch support. And they're very comfortable. They're good shoes. Nice. Couldn't say much bad about them. Great. Moving on. Where'd my coffee go? That's that's your lap. Yeah. More coffee. Next shoe. Nike Mechon. Fuck. <laughs> Nike Mechon 5. Alright, if you were one of the 13 people that read my blog, you would know that these were the ones I picked in the end as my favorite CrossFit shoe. Uh, for a lot of reasons. They're a really good shoe. They also have a nice texture element on the outside, so you feel like they're going to last and you can be super rugged with them. Um, they have good arch support, but not quite as much as the Reeboks. Also great for rope climbs, super grippy on the rope. Box jumps, these are my go-to favorite shoe. They are so bouncy and so fast on the box that it's like, that's a pretty big difference. Um, they're also good for wall balls and stuff like that um, for the same reason and thrusters. Um, I don't love running in them. I wouldn't want to run more than like 800 meters in them if I didn't have to. What? What? When would you ever love running more than 800 what? meters? That's rude. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say because I am a cardio queen. It's not true at all. I didn't even say that without laughing. <laughs> I fucking hate running. So running is stupid and should die to death. Hi. Basically the reason that I'm not a better athlete because running is false. I'm just kidding. You need to wash your shoes also. You know what? You need to wash your face. Probably true. My shoulders are probably slouchy, and you're not even telling me that. Why are your shoulders so slouchy? Maybe you could pay attention as the director. You told me not to look at the screen! I would appreciate if you wouldn't talk to me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. Okay. 
cons. A smaller toe box, some people care about that. If you do, you need to know that. That's what she said. That is what she said. Toe box. That's it. That is a fetish. <laughs> the laces suck. I hate these laces. They are my least favorite of all the shoes I reviewed. Laces. They are terrible. Nike, get your shit together with your laces. You have to like triple knot these mother effers. They suck. Also, they come with these inserts um, to make them like lifters, which is such a cool idea, but I don't really like them because they move in your shoe. I mean, maybe if you're, if you're just squatting or something, then yeah, it's nice. It's a little lift. It's helpful. But like if you want to try and do wall balls in them, it just, it's not good. Like I like doing wall balls and lifters because I like to do things easier because <laughs> I'm lazy. And um, I tried that with these, and I felt like they were shifting in my shoe. It was very distracting. It was very annoying. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I've never used them again, even for lifting. I'd rather just put on lifters. But I guess if you don't own lifters and you want a tiny lift, it's that much to lift. It's six milliliters. Millil milliliters? Milliliters is like water. Well, maybe there's water in it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I just play one on TV. <laughs> All I'm saying is I love the concept of it, but I used them one time to try it, and I've never, ever, ever touched them again until today when I pulled them out to make this video. That's my review on the Nike Macron 5s. Nice. <coughs> Next. I threw in a running shoe because I'm an avid runner. And I thought, honestly, I, book, I just kind of thought it would be funny for the aspect of the blog where, you know, I had to, like, rope climb in all the shoes and I had to deadlift and, like, try everything. I was like, oh, it would be really funny to do it all in running shoes. Here's the funny thing about that, though. Oh, God, these are gross because I used them this morning in my workout. <laughs> they are so sweaty. <laughs> but, um, they actually held up with a lot of stuff. Uh... These are A6 Gel Quantum 90. I got them on sale. Nordstrom Rack. It's a website. I don't know if you've heard of it. I frequent it. Um, they're wonderful for running. They feel like running on a soft, cushy cloud. They're incredibly lightweight. Um, they're not a bad looking shoe. I mean, I wouldn't pick this color unless I was like dying in the forest or something. <laughs> but. I'll survive with it. They were absolutely horrific double undering in. Like, my rope kept getting stuck in the little ridges, and I hated everything. I just tripped a lot and cursed the world. And so you're regular double under. Got whiplashed. No, because I'm amazing at double unders. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that <sighs> from facts, but it's true. Just saying. Oh. I did a workout in these where it was, I think it was like a 200 meter run and then like full rope climbs, like over and over, AMRAP. You know what an AMRAP is if you're watching this video. <laughs> I don't, I guess. But these were great. Like they were super grippy on the rope, um, very comfortable. But of course, it ate them a little bit. And I know that if I did a lot of times, it would completely eat the bottom of the shoe. So I wouldn't do it like, all the time but as far as rope climb goes these shoes aren't bad much better than like the nobles or something which are just so slippery on the rope i feel like as far as other movements box jumps and these was terrible i almost bit it because the little ridges got stuck on the side of the box i just put my hand in there and like i said it's really sweaty from this morning so that was a great idea so overall so overall, I would say these shoes are great for running, and that's about it. But if they have to do something else in them, it's not the worst thing that ever happened in your life. Nice. <laughs> hey, at least we'll get a couple views from that. No, see my abs. No. But that's for next video when I review baby lotion. <laughs> it's weird. That is the next video, by the way. Be sure to subscribe and save or whatever you coupon flippers on YouTube do. Uh, next week I'm going to review baby lotion. 
and probably tell dirty jokes because dirty jokes are how kids happen. I'm not going to put it on my baby because it's illegal to test on animals. <laughs> so I will place it on my sensitive baby skin. Okay, CrossFit shoes. You want them? I got them. Let's talk. What are we doing now? <laughs> Drum roll. Yeah. That's high quality. Yep. We hired, we hired musicians. <laughs> Box jumps. Favorite shoe is... Beep, 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 boop, beep, boop. Nike Meton 9. Shoes one and put for box jumps. Uh, really, the funny flaw is that they're very squeaky. So you end up sounding like you're in a high school basketball game. But they're good. Top shoe pick for rope climbs. Reebok Nano 9. These shoes are great for rope climbs. Really comfortable. Got a good grip on them. They win. Top shoe pick for thrusters. I would definitely go with my sister's nobles. Mm -hmm. Probably too big for me, but that's fine. Uh, nice flat bottom, good sturdy. You don't feel like you're rocking in them at all. They're great. Top pick for double unders, innovates. So minimal that you can really get some good height on your jump. Yeah. Top pick for running is obviously the running shoe, the Asics Gel Quantum. Uh, they are like a soft, rosy cloud with angels dancing on your toes as you sweat and cry and cry and drag your feet. But overall, top pick is absolutely, for sure, positively, without a doubt, a close call between the Nike and the Reeboks, but the winner is the Nike Man. Um, I might get different laces though, but I've also been saying that for a year and I haven't done it yet. I just keep double knotting these and yelling profanities at them when they come inside. And that's it. But if you like a big toe box, then definitely go for the Reeboks. <laughs> you like that big toe box. Wide that box. That sounds incredibly fro profane. You like that wide box for your toes, girl. <laughs> Shoot. Hit me up. You're Here's the thing. I don't remember what the prices are. Maybe next time I'll do a better job when I make a YouTube review video. So you're just going to have to look at the prices yourself and figure that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I failed you all. I'll try harder next time. Okay, well, there is a blog in the links. I don't know how YouTube works yet. It's down here probably because people always point down in like the three YouTube videos I've ever watched in my life. Down there, you can read my blog, which is way better written than I know how to talk. Words. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask me questions. I don't know if I'll answer them, especially if they're rude. You should say subscribe. I'm the best boyfriend ever. Subscribe to my YouTube. I'll make pasta in my underpants. <laughs> so weird. I want to review grips. But I only have like three pairs. But I got a lot to say about the three pairs I've had. So maybe I'll do that review too. You should just buy more grips. Yeah, someone give me money for grips. I'll put a link to the money page. I don't know how that works, but I'll figure it out. You can give me money for grips. That's it, guys. That's all I got.